Another question we received today is why is the slope of the aggregate expenditure function equal to marginal propensity to consume? Doesn't it sit on the 45 degree line? Well, let's address that. First of all, what is the aggregate expenditure function? The idea of a function is that it depends on something. So remember, aggregate expenditure equals consumption plus planned investment plus government purchases plus net exports. Remember, we also said that consumption has its own function. C bar plus MPC Y minus T bar. So what this is telling me is that consumption is a function of real GDP. So in math, sometimes we'd write this C like that because it's a consumption function. It's a function of real GDP, telling us that as real GDP were to increase, right? If GDP increases here, notice that on this side of the equation, consumption is going to increase as well by the value of marginal propensity to consume. That's the definition of marginal propensity to consume. So consumption is a function of real GDP, which means that aggregate expenditure as well would be a function of real GDP. So what exactly is aggregate expenditure that function? Again, it's consumption, which is a function of real GDP, but then... It's also planned investment, government purchases, and net exports. All of these are autonomous, meaning they're not a function of real GDP. The way that we built this, remember, was we started with the consumption function and what it looked like. The slope of the consumption function is marginal propensity to consume. So if the slope of the consumption function is marginal propensity to consume. The rest of these are just a number. That means the slope of the whole thing is going to be marginal propensity to consume. We see the aggregate expenditure function looks something like this with the slope of MPC. Now, a lot of people get confused because they think Y equals aggregate expenditure, but this is only at a single point. So that's only at a single point. And that's this point right here. And that gives us this level of GDP because this function or this model is aggregate expenditure versus GDP. This gives us that equilibrium point. Anywhere along this 45 degree line, we will see the actual macroeconomic equilibrium. But it only happens at one point because the aggregate expenditure function is this entire line right there with the slope of MPC.